Hi, welcome back to my <laughs> channel. I feel like a hot mess express today. Like I am the conductor of that train. Ooh, that's how I feel today, but I'm here, I'm alive, I feel blessed, and we're making a new video. So you guys had requested a hair tutorial. Well, I, I honestly didn't think I needed to do a tutorial on this because it was something, I don't know, it was kind of easy. But then I realized like I really hadn't done a tutorial on this hairstyle. Um, so I'm gonna do that with you guys today. If you are new to my channel, um, my name is Chloe Brown and I'm so happy that you're here. So if you're new, please subscribe to my channel if you like what I do and give this video a thumbs up if it is helpful. This is an easy hairstyle because the majority of my hair is flat ironed. As you guys know, as my hair has grown out, I have been flat ironing it. And I don't know, it's just kind of a lazy cheater way of styling your hair. Plus I don't have my undercut anymore. So flat ironing the bottom parts of my hair before I curl it really does help um, my hair lay a little bit better. So I am using the new classic flat iron from Croc. This is the one and a half inch. The infrared just allows the heat to distribute a little bit better at a lower, fre higher frequency, lower temperature. Um, so I am doing 320 degrees on my hair. That's what I've been using and it's been working great. Um, and it really helps get like a looser curl when you do flat iron your hair. Um, so yeah. Now, if you guys are in the market for a new flat iron, I do have a code for 30% off of this one um, and anything off of the Croc website, and that is Chloe30, and that will give you 30% off. Go ahead, like with every video, I'll put the link in the description below so you can go to it um, as well. All right, so just lightly flat iron that bottom section. I'm gonna do the next section the same. Now, when I do flat iron, I, I slightly bend the hair towards my neck, I guess you would say. So just to give it that, I don't know, polished look to where it kind of looks clean and not so much straight and, and down. All right, so there is that. Again, I'm going to do the next section and flat iron this. I know it feels like I'm flat ironing a lot, but that's kind of what gave it that really uh, effortless, I guess, look. I don't know. It was just not a lot of body. To the style that I did which is crazy because you guys know that I love body I love texture I love volume um, but this hairstyle was not that so there is that this section I'm gonna curl woohoo so this is the exciting part um, I guess where you guys might learn a thing or two but who knows you probably already know how to do this it's just a little little cheater way. Okay, so front parts of the hair, I always curl them back. So I'm going to lean my flat iron. So I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, lean it in there at an angle, and then twist it down. So the curl looks like that. This next section, I'm actually gonna curl it towards my face. Just like that, again, twisting down so my my hand is away from me and then curl it back so then it's straight again. I just find that it helps position the flat iron in a way where it's easy for my hand to manage. I know it seems difficult in the beginning but if I were to start this way and then I'd have to kind of do that thing. I don't like doing that. So I just prefer to do it an easy way. I know a lot of people like putting their flat irons in and then twisting them and whatnot. I just, I don't know, I never find I do that just a way. So turn this way and then flip it back and then slowly bring it down because I have that lower temperature on there. It's still gonna give a really nice curl but it's not gonna be too tight. Now, if you find that an end is too curly, just take your flat iron and just straighten it. Just like that, okay? So this side is a little different because I am going to put it upside down and flip it that way, just for that front piece, just so it goes away from my face like Farrah Fawcett. 
just for the front pieces and then I kind of just curl the next one's a little different. So I'm gonna do this one towards my face. I just like a little bit of movement there in the front. Next, I'm gonna go away. So it's a lot easier to curl your hair away from your face on this side um, because of hand placement if you're right-handed. You just kind of start like this and then twist it back. Now, you can definitely, and I have done this a few times, go over your head and twist like that. You can do that. It's very easy, very simple. Um, do whatever feels right. Like I always say, if you guys want to practice uh, holding your flat iron or curling iron, I highly suggest just turning your curling iron or flat iron off and then doing it that way. That way it's, you don't have to burn your hair, you don't have to curl your hair, but just try the technique with your tool turned off. All right, so this side, again, putting my hand like this, putting it at an angle very close to the root and just tilting it back. I like to have it angled at the front, like that Farrah Fawcett look. I am going to curl this way backwards too. I really like my face being framed that way in the front. And then the next section I am going to curl towards my face. Okay, all right, curl it away. And then flat iron the bottom. I'm gonna curl this one towards. Curl it away. All right, moving on to this side. Oh, I got an itch. Whew. I'm gonna take that bang piece, go over my head. Flip it this way just to get that fair faucet look. I need to curl that bottom piece more. There we go. Oh, I just got a little cross side. Okay, straighten the end. Take this piece, do the same thing. And then this one go towards the face. Okay, and this is what it should look like without it being brushed out or teased or let me get my stuff and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I do after this. All right, now let's talk about texture. I know um, some people like wetter texture products. I do like them. I just prefer the drier texture stuff. So if you're looking for something that is on the cheaper side, I highly suggest the Ion Lux Dry Texture and Finishing Spray. Um, it's like kind of a hairspray and a dry texture in one. It reminds me of the Sexy Hair uh, High Tide, which I really like. That's comparable to that in a way. Sexy Hair Supergirl is just a dry texture spray. Works really good as well. And then Puff Me just came out with their new dry texture spray. Um, it has a lighter hold than other dry texture sprays that I've used, but it's um, if you're looking for a light hold dry texture spray, uh, this is a good option for that as well. Today, I want something a little heavier to hold on my hair. Love this stuff. It smells great. It doesn't, it doesn't feel heavy, but it just keeps that messier look longer. So. I am going to lift up my hair just like this, spray that all in there, drop it down. Do it to the back, drop it down. Drop it down. And then I'm gonna do the top. I'm gonna mess up my hair. Play with it. And then I'm just gonna put a very light hold hairspray on there. Sexy Hair So Touchable is great for, it literally feels like a weightless hairspray, but you know it's working. By the way, it smells so good. Okay. 
So this is the hairstyle I did while I was <laughs> furniture shopping the other day. And then I just kind of tucked it back a little bit. Um, and that was that, but you guys really liked it. Give it like an hour or two and it'll become a little more loose, um, a little more put together. I put some Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum in there, so it's humidity resistant, which really helps with that. But it also kind of binds your ends together um, after they've been sitting for just like an hour or so, which I really like. So still messy, but still shiny and it looks super healthy. Um, love this look and it lasts a couple days and the next day it'll just be looser and then the next day just throw a top knot on there and you'll be good to go. But um, I mean a cool thing about this hairstyle is like I say always you can just flip it. I, that's one thing I love about parting down the middle is you can flip it and you get that big old bang um, at the top which I love. I love it and I love the way that it looks but for this hairstyle I'm just going to wear it in the middle. And you can tuck both sides or just one or none. So this hairstyle looks cute with earrings, which I don't have on right now, but let me show you. Let's throw on these bad guys just so you can see a little contrast in there. Sometimes when I wear black, people can't see my black earrings because it matches with my dark hair underneath. Um, but there you go. Super cute. I think that earrings add a huge, um, a huge sass and I don't know. I really like wearing earrings with shorter hair. I think it definitely brings the look all together and completes it. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you learned something today and recreate it at home and send me pictures of you with this hairstyle as well. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.